My name is Howard Rockblad Walker, and I would like to welcome you to this virtual tour of my studio. My particular photographic interests are architecture, architectural abstractions, and digital compositions. In this visit, I am going to show how two of my images were created through post-process compositing, starting with photos that I have taken. Since I am not a studio photographer, as you see, what I work in is more aptly called a workspace or atelier. Because the space is small, this visit and demonstration is possible because of Art Night Bristol Warren's virtual 2020 season. I appreciate this opportunity they have given me. I take my photos beyond the confines of this space. My work area only needs to be big enough for my computers and monitors, my mouse, palette controls, and network attached storage of my photo archives, which now holds almost 149,000 images that I can choose from. The creative process for the first piece that I want to demonstrate is called Baseline. The original photo from which it was created was of a wall in a Buddhist temple complex in Nara, Japan. To create Baseline, I started with a white fill background layer with a scaled section of the wall layered above it. This was a bit low key because the wall was in late afternoon shadows, so I added an exposure adjustment layer to brighten it up quickly. Sometimes I will use a simple adjustment layer to gauge effects, then switch to the curves adjustment for finer control. In this case, the simple change was sufficient for my goal. The next layer was again created from the original shot. It was a rectangular section of the wall with the squiggly mud pattern, including a part where the wall met the ground. This was duplicated, the copy flipped vertically, then horizontally, and aligned with the rectangular section. This also required an exposure adjustment layer above it to lighten it up. In this case, the exposure layer was clipped to the layer below, so that the exposure change would only affect the layer immediately below and not the entire layer stack. To increase the perception of depth, I found that a layer with a Gaussian blur below the rectangular shape creates a shadow effect that can be expanded or shrunk and precisely positioned to give a more 3D effect to the overall image. I needed one more effect to improve the image composition. There was already a very faint horizontal line in the background wall section. I overlaid a black brush line to that faint line to give the image a new element. This required a little experimentation with different brushes to get a visually interesting effect. The result of this process could then be soft proofed and sent to I.O. Labs in East Providence for printing. The fan created from a photo of the Mezquita or Mas Cathedral in Cordoba, Spain was the third fan I composed. It was different in several ways, one being that it used the full frame image rather than a rectangular section of the photo. Here is the photo as shot. There was a large black shape of a video monitor in the lower left that first had to be removed using a cleanup layer with the careful application of the clone tool. The cleaned photo was duplicated to a new file with a very large white background layer. The fan is built from this by first transforming the image into a new trapezoidal shape similar to an arches keystone. The fans are, in effect, layers of iterated keystones. Unlike a masonry arch, they are built from the center to the edges. Because the base photo had the corridor of multicolored arches and the white column as strong elements, 
I shifted the keystone so one edge was aligned with the horizontal midline of the background to create symmetrical arcs. Arc is then constructed by duplicating the keystone, flipping the copy horizontally, and moving and rotating it in position. Other pieces are added in a similar process. The keystone and each of its iterations is contained in a separate layer. When one arc is complete, the keystone is duplicated once again, scaled so that it matches either the top or bottom edge of the first keystone. The second arc is built with this iteration process once again. The Metskita fan is the first in which I built three arcs. As you can see, the stack of layers gets quite large, as does the Photoshop file that contains it. Compositing a fan requires a fast computer, lots of video RAM, and large scratch and storage disks. Patience helps too. Japanese fans were the inspiration for my fantasy pieces. As you can see at this stage, the iterated image is not a smooth curve, as you would see in most Japanese fans. The process of smoothing the arc inside and out takes a bit of time. I will not demonstrate it here. When the points on the arcs and the baseline have been cleaned up, the piece is ready to be uploaded to IO Labs for printing. I send it to them with the white background so that they can see the edges and trim precisely. Once printed, trimmed, and mounted, the piece will have a black background in the float frame as you see here. Thank you for watching my virtual workspace visit and the demonstration of some of the techniques I use in creating my digital compositions. If you have questions or want additional information about any of my fine art photography, visit my website, hrwfineartphoto.com, email me at hrwalker24b at gmail.com, or contact me through the Imago Gallery in Warren, Rhode Island. I want to thank Art Night Bristol Warren and ask you to support it and the many artists in our two communities.